too minute long. Alright guys, it is a gloomy but warm night here in the end times. In late October, still still t-shirt weather in, uh, in upstate New York. On uh, It is a Wednesday, I think that's October 26, 2022. And uh, good God, I've been up on a ladder all day and I need to... I don't know, put myself in traction. Before I do, uh, just couldn't resist uh, this story, and I know what you guys are thinking. You, you all are thinking that Hambone is going to cheer on that python that ate that woman over there in Indonesia. That uh, surely Hambone is going to be cheering that python on. <laughs> And while I, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I am in uh, full support of pythons eating people. I, I wish those damn pythons in South Florida would start eating people down there. So while I do generally support and endorse the uh, eating of humans by pythons or, or any other animal, you know, it's not quite the same thing as the elephant story. You know, the woman, I, I mean, as far as I know, she did not kill, you know, the the python's baby or, or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? There, there's not a direct, a direct, uh, you, you know, revenge motive and whatnot. So, um, I'm, I'm not going to lower myself to uh, cheering on the python for uh, taking one more, uh, one more human off the planet. But as long as we're talking about animals eating humans, a bunch of stories about the python, but then mixed in with the python story, we have this story about animals eating parts of a human, uh, and that would be uh, the animal in this case being a dog. These three pit bulls uh, attacked this uh, woman, this little piece of trailer trash, and somewhere, I don't know where the hell, I'll have to find it. One of these little tweaker chicks uh, got attacked by three pit bulls. You know, this has, uh, you know, it's got soft white underbelly all over it. Uh, that guy at soft white underbelly ought to interview this chick. So anyway, I don't know what set this off. Uh, it sounds like she was just uh, walking down the street, you know, minding her own business, probably looking to score, you know, some meth. Uh, she was probably on full tweak and, and needed some methamphetamine and, and was uh, tweaking down the damn street and the neighbor's pit bulls uh, attacked her and apparently they chewed her arms off. They chewed her arms off. So the, this poor girl, so I don't know now how she ingests the meth. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, how does she shoot up the meth now? Or can she eat? I don't even understand how she takes pills. How can someone with no arms be a tweaker? So I'm, I'm very suspicious about this whole story in, in the mainstream media. The, the whole story... Sounds a little bit hinky to me. And so anyway, so the poor girl, she gets her arms chewed off uh, by, the, by these goddamn pit bulls, uh, you know, probably uh, escaping from the damn trailer park or whatever uh, out there and uh, out there on to God's little acre down Tobacco Road or whatever. Good God, I can only imagine the scene. And uh, so she does a GoFundMe. This was, I think, in May she gets attacked. So she goes a, a, a GoFundMe. I don't know. 
that she's trying to buy some arms or whatever, she makes $308,000. So she has, she puts $308,000 in her pocket. Well, I don't know if she can put anything in her pocket, which is part of my problem with this story. $308,000. So, you know, I mean, would I have a pit bull gnaw off my arm so I could uh, put three hundred and eight grand in my pocket. But you think with three hundred and eight thousand dollars in, in her bank account between May and October that you shouldn't be reading this headline in the mainstream media today. But here it is. Uh, oh, it's South Carolina. She was attacked in March. South Carolina woman who lost her arms after dog attack in March is now in jail. Here's the little, the little uh, trailer trash hottie. And there you go. Uh, so what is this all about? A Honea Path woman whose arms were amputated after she was attacked by three dogs was arrested Tuesday afternoon and charged with trafficking methamphetamine. Yes, Kyleen Waltman's arrest came during a traffic stop in Abbeville County. Uh, okay, so now, all right. So, she was arrested during it. So, the woman has no arms. She was arrested during a traffic stop where they also arrested Jeffrey Wayne Bond, a passenger in the vehicle. Uh, deputies, okay. So, it sounds like that she was driving. Sounds like she was driving. This armless chick was driving with this tweaker beside her. Uh, and then it gets weirder. Deputy searched the vehicle and found a purse that belonged to Waltman uh, with meth inside. So, all right, okay, first, she's driving a car. She has no arms. She's driving a car. And then they find her purse in the car. Uh, you know, this it just begs the question. I mean, if I was a reporter, what the fuck is an armless woman doing with a purse? Okay. Where, you know, I, I mean, I guess she could be driving with her knees. They have these things. But, but, but how the fuck does an armless woman, why or how does an armless woman have a purse? How the fuck does she get her lipstick or her tampons? And, and, and I don't even want to go there with the, with the whole tampon and toilet paper. Uh, you, you know, obviously. I don't even want to don't even want to think about the tampons and the toilet paper. I'm just thinking about the purse at, at, at this point. What this chick uh, is doing with the purse. But if you think the purse is weird enough, when she was told she would be arrested, she told officers she had two other bags of meth in her pocket. Okay, guys, I, I, don't, I don't get it. My five years of college, my 140, I just don't fucking get it. How does an armless tweaker, how does she put a bag of meth in her pocket? And even harder than getting it in the pocket is getting it back out of the pocket. Why do armless people have pockets? I mean, pockets kind of imply arms. I mean, 
they just go together. Pockets and arms. Alright. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Waltman and Bond were charged, I guess, with possession with intent to distribute. Uh, booked into the Abbeville County Detention Center and are waiting bond hearings. Okay, so what happened with these dogs? Uh, Waltman was attacked by three dogs as she walked down a rural road in Honea Path in March. She had more than a dozen surgeries. Uh, so, after all that happened, she had 6,000 donations totaling $308,000. When she was arrested, uh, when who is when the uh, oh her sister on the GoFundMe page added a comment from their mother saying, "I am wore out. I am wore out." She cries a lot, and we don't know what to do anymore. There you go. Uh, the guy who owned the dogs is out on $15,000 bond on charges of owning a dangerous animal could be looking at three years in prison. The three dogs were euthanized. Eight others were seized and quarantined and sent to rescue organizations. Waltman, I wish we, they never tell how old this woman is. Uh, never tell how old she is. If that was a, she looked like she was about 22. Waltman has three children and a newborn grandchild. I guess before she was attacked, she worked in a local restaurant. Doctors told her family they had never seen such vicious dog bites. Good God. Anyway, guys, die. Yeah, this is the thing about the mainstream media. It, it's not as much what they say, it, it, it's what they don't say. I, I mean, these are questions people want to know. If I had sent a donation to her GoFundMe, I would want to know how the hell uh, she was putting uh, meth in her damn purse and her pockets. How she was driving a damn car. This, this that, that chick is a grandmother? And, you know, and, and never telling her age anywhere in the story. Anyway, guys, uh, that is the animals eating parts of humans. Anyway, little dog, this is why you need to stay away from the pit bulls. And for the record, guys, uh, as much as I love dogs, every motherfucking pit bull on this planet needs to be euthanized. Uh, just, just, just fucking kill them. Every fucking pit bull on the planet. I've heard it all. I, I've known some uh, very sweet pit bulls. Don't trust the motherfuckers as far as I can throw them. They need to be eradicated off the planet. Get out there and eradicate a pit bull off the planet before it eradicates you off the planet. My guys.